Hello everyone. I come today just to show you a technique that I'm doing called doodling designs. And um, I hope you enjoy it. It um, very easy technique. And what I did is I took the Inspiring Iris stamp set from Stampin' Up. I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. Um, and I have a website, which is www.readaholmes.stampinup.net. I have a YouTube channel, Stamp Crazy by Rita Holmes. I would love for you to go to it and to um, subscribe. Also share my videos, if you would. I'm doing technique videos every week. And i um, just hoping to show some different things you can do with your stamping. I also have a Facebook group page called Stamp Crazy VIP. And um, there I show this technique live every Tuesday morning. And after I do that, I have a PDF that I put in the files that shows you the supplies I use for the technique and how I did it, the supplies for the card, and how I made the card that you're seeing with this. These are free to you in the files of my Facebook page. So you can hop on over there, join that, and... Um, get all the techniques that I've done so far. They're all listed there, and um, that would be great. I would um, so enjoy that. Also, I have my May host code. If you do not have a demonstrator and wish to order from Stampin' Up, I'd love for you to do that um, through my website, which is theredaholmes.stampinup.net. And um, I would just love to be your demonstrator and help you in any way I can. Um, any of the techniques that you see, if you need help with any of those, you can always contact me and I would be happy to um, help you with those. So today we're going to do called a technique called Doodling Techniques. And I use the Inspiring Iris, like I said, which is actually a two-step stamping stamp set. But I only used the one stamp, the images, and then I doodled around them just to give them a little bit of life and uh, not make them look so uniform. And I'm gonna show you how I did that today. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started. All of the dimensions for my paper are on my PDF that you can get over at my Facebook group. So I'm not gonna be going through all of that um, right now. This is a very simple card. Your basic um, mats are here. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to bring in my white, and I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper because I'm going to be making a little bit of a mess. So anyway, I'm going to bring in my paper. I'm going to bring in my piece of white cardstock. I'm going to bring in my Pear Pizzazz ink pad, and I'm going to stamp my leaves on my card. Now what I did with mine is I started in the center And then just did one on either side of that. So there is my leaves all stamped. We'll put this stamp pad away for a second. We'll be using it again. And then I'm going to take my Highland Heather stamp pad. And we're going to stamp the iris buds or flowers, I should say. So I'm going to ink those up. line them up and I know they look really dark but as the ink dries they will lighten up so there you go I'm gonna let those dry for just a second before I start the doodling part on here and while I'm doing that I want to show you some other cards that I made doing the doodling these two that I'm bringing in now was done with the Inspiring Iris, and it's the um, um, carnation. And as you can see, I doodled around just to make it look like little carnation um, petals. So here's one of the cards I did in the portrait um, look, and then here's one I did in the horizontal. And um, both of them, I just used the carnation, used the same papers, same ribbons, 
same sayings, all of it was out of Inspiring Iris. The next card I did is such a fun card. It's out of our Painted Harvest set. And um, I did the, it's actually a sunflower that it's supposed to be. And I just did it in the Calypso Coral and the fl Flirty Flamingo. Doodled around all the petals, doodled around the center of the flower, added the leaves, doodled around those. Um, this little dot stamp is actually in the set of the Painted Harvest. And then I doodled around the outside. You could add t trindle, tendrils in here or anything to um, add more doodling to your card. The smile came out of the set Daisy Lane. But anyway, um, that's just another set. But any, if you can use any stamp that doesn't have a black outline to it to where you can doodle that, is great. I use the Micron pens. And you can get these in different sizes. There's an 01, an 03. There's actually an 05, 08. I use the 03. I pretend to like that one really well. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to show you how I doodled on my card. Now when you doodle, you do not want everything to look uniform. That's the fun thing about doodling. You can just add marks and just make it come to life and be fun. So I am going to do that right now. In fact, I'm going to take this sheet of well, paper away for a second just so I can see a little bit better. And I'm just going to start doodling around my little petals of my flowers. And as you can see, there's nothing uniform. I'm just trying to follow like the leaves and um, petals in their shape and just add some black wispy looking lines at the moment. And then I'll show you what we'll do when we go back and once we get all these done. But you don't have to be really careful in that. And if you're really creative, you can you can do a lot of different doodling on your cards, and it just to me makes them look happy. Doodling is a lot of fun. And you don't have to try to get your um, flowers to all look alike. Flowers are not alike. You go out into your garden and that your flower petals are not all shaped exactly the same. They, they crease in different areas. They um, have little tears in them. Just all kinds of little stuff. So, And really try not to concentrate so hard on what you're doing because when you do that you try to be so much more uniform and this is just something to um i say relax you because you're just adding little marks now once i get all of that done i can go back and put some little dots up around the flowers in the flowers put little lines you know, you can just do so much with your doodling. And make each flower just a little bit different, you know, and what and how you're doodling it. You can get really caught up in doing this, but I'm trying to do it quickly just because I want to make a card for you to see it. I want to do a finished card. And on the leaves, you know, there's not a lot of room, but you can doodle a little bit and add some dots, add some extra lines in there to look like veins. Um... And just make you some little marks and make it look happy. 
helps to find the card in itself. Okay, there's my doodling done. Now, I could leave it as a white card, put my saying on it, and be done with it. But I liked the look of putting in like some sky and some ground just to make it look like a softer card. And that's what I'm going to do for you real quick is show you how I did that. I used these brushes that I got from Amazon. They are actually um, bristle brushes. They're not foam. So they're really, really nice to use. I got them from Amazon. They're actually, if you look them up, they're called Crafting Ink Blending Brush Set. It's five pieces and it sells for $11.98 on Amazon for the five of them. Uh, one thing about them, you never wash them. I just use them making another video. There's my paper from it. So I have, you don't wash, and as you can see, you don't really see any ink in these paper and the brushes because that's all you do is you just clean your brushes till there's no ink left in them and don't wash them. I don't, I think they would take forever to dry. But anyway, I'm going to bring in my balmy blue. And I'm going to do my sky. So I'm just going to pounce kind of in the balmy blue. Take it off of my paper and then just rub onto my card. You're not going to hurt your ink. Your ink is dry. And th this ink, when you're putting it on, it dries instantly. There's So it doesn't hurt the images you already have on there. And if you want to darken it, just... Always make sure that you start off of your card because if you don't, you will get a brush mark. I always do circular motions instead of back and forth. It looks more uniform that way. I'm going to get in under these little flowers a little bit. There's my sky. So I'm just going to make sure I got my blue out of there pretty much. going to close this up and I'm going to bring back my pear pizzazz which is the color that I just did my leaves in down here we're going to bring that back in and do a little bit of sky I mean grass not sky I think I want to see a green sky there we go and you don't have to add much you know if you want your green darker you can but I just wanted it to kind of blend in with my leaves. So there you go. Easy peasy with these little brushes. Love them. And you just clean it out and go on. But there's five different sizes that come in here. This is like the largest one. Then there's a... I think it's the largest one. But anyway, this is like the um, next to the smallest. So if you have a little small areas you want to get into, big areas if you're doing like, you know, a big, um, like skies and um, like a ocean scene. Or if you're doing a bigger card. So therefore, now we're done with this piece of paper. We have this. I'm going to stamp my saying, which also came out of the Inspiring Iris set, right at the top. And it says, sending hugs, prayers, and lots of love, which is a good sentiment for what we're all going through right now. Now I'm going to take our linen thread, and as you see, I just left it on the spool. That's how I use it. I'm going to place my center of it, turn it over. And I'm just going to put a piece of tape on there. And then I'm going to take and wrap it around my card three times. Put another piece of tape to hold all that down. I use tape instead of the um, snail because of the thread being so thin. 
Let me cut this off real quick. And there we basically have the card front done, all except the bow. I did make my bow already, which I just took my twine and, and did a couple layers of it so my bow would look more frilly. I used my pop dots. And I'm always a double pop dot person. I thought, yeah, there was two on there. So I've got my two pop dots. I make sure they're not going to show. Kind of press them up against my cording there. And I just put that where I had all three of those pieces of linen come together. And there's my bow on my card. Now all I have to do is mount my card. So what I did was I took a piece of pear pizzazz, cut it as a mat, used my Tombow glue, and glued that onto my mat. I like to use Tombow glue. It gives me just a little bit more of wiggle room if I need it. You want to really press that down where you have your um, cording in there. Then I'm going to take a card base that I already have scored and I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to really flatten that. I use a Pampered Chef pot scrubber instead of a bone folder. I've just gotten used to those and I love them. I like the way they feel and stuff. So that's what I use. I'm going to put pop dot or dimensionals on the back of my card base. And I only use about six. That's all. That's basically all you need. You want to hold up your, your corners and you want to hold up your middle a little bit. And, uh, I've seen people use like 15 or so of them at a time, and it's like, you know, you don't have to do that. They are cheap, if you think about how many comes in a pack and the price, but we don't have to be silly. Make sure your card opens at the bottom. Put your card front up right, and then just add that to your card front. And there you go, you have a card. So try some doodling with your cards. It just is um, kind of relaxing and gets you out of the mo mode of having to stamp. What I like about that when using the stamps from two-step stamping, you don't have to be so precise trying to get that stamp layered over that sometimes if you just want to feel free. But there's my card. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you come back. And please, if you're watching this video, please share it. And... Um, that so I can, um, I'd like to get my name out there as doing techniques and different things like that because I am just now starting with all of this and I'd appreciate all the help I can get from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.